Hi guys, I'm in Somerville, Massachusetts, outside the makers of one of the coolest 3D printers I've ever seen. This is Form Labs and they make the Form 1. I'm John Biggs and this is TechCrunch Makers. This is the actual R&D location where you guys are building all these crazy printers, right? That's right. This is the uh, Form Labs HQ. All right. So this is the printer. This is the Form 1. This is a stereolithographic 3D printer. It uses a laser to cure liquid layers of a light-sensitive resin. It allows us to make really, really detailed, really, really smooth finished parts. So instead of, instead of sort of like a deposition, I guess you could say, this actually just shoots a laser to create the shape. It's an optical process, it's not a mechanical one. And it's actually hanging from this as it's being built. That's right, yeah. Right. It's a, we call this inverted stereolithography. So when people think about 3D printers, they think about this big spool of plastic. What is this? This is our resin. Uh, so we developed this in-house. Uh, it is an acrylate photopolymer. It's a mm -hmm. kind of material that when you expose it to a certain wavelength of light, it hardens. Uh, we're going to take a look at our material science lab. This is where the important work of engineering the materials that we use in the Form 1 takes place. So, so this, is the, this is the Form Lab's brewmaster. Exactly, basically. Yeah, smooth sipping. <laughs> um, so we do all of our own R&D here. We have an in-house material science team. Uh, Michal. <laughs> this is where we work on making our current materials better as well as awesome materials down the line. Here we have, uh, we call this the Form 1 Museum, uh, but it's a, a look at some of the earliest prototypes of the Form 1. This is one of the later prototypes, believe it or not, uh, where we're looking at trying to take all the parts that went into these mm -hmm. AD20 machines and start packaging it into a form factor. These are early efforts at the industrial design. This, we have a, a very early cardboard prototype. By the time that we had our Kickstarter campaign, uh, where we basically had a totally working, finished and complete prototype, I think six months prior you were looking at machines that looked a lot like this. Mm -hmm. um, so there's an incredibly uh, rapid R&D cycle. The founders built the first machine in the basement of their apartment, thought it was a great idea, and started pushing things a little bit further. Came up with the Form 1, mm -hmm. uh, which is the machine that we know and love, and then pushed it to Kickstarter. That was a totally transformative moment in the company. That's what turned this from something that was cool, this is you know, an awesome product, a lot of fun, to something huge. What goes on in here? What's This is the, uh, oh, this is the chess room, I see. Part of the daily training program. <laughs> we're, pretty, we're pretty aggressive about it. You know, we have a good time and yeah. like to test our intellects. Uh, One thing I'm glad of, you guys don't have a ping pong table, which no is No ping pong table. Yeah, that's actually, I'm glad of that. No ping pong table. We like, you know, kind of, we focus here, we work yeah. hard. All right, so here's the, uh, here's the kitchen. From Form 1's in a greenhouse experiment. We got some plants up there, a little greenery. <laughs> We do all the R&D, all the design, all the prototyping in-house, and that takes place here. In terms of actually making production units, you know, like we have a whole separate manufacturing facility. All the good stuff that goes into making a real top-notch machine takes place over here. Some of these machines are machines that uh, are being repaired. Some of the machines are machines which represent different phases of R&D. Maybe they have different iterations of components inside. Maybe they're being tested for wear, for durability. What's the coolest thing that you've seen built on one of these things? Some of the, some of the most spectacular work is coming out of model makers in Hollywood in visual effects who really take uh, you know, both the modeling as well as kind of the end product to the extreme. So hyper-realistic figures, you know, models that show every single muscle, every single tendon, and that's the kind of thing that the Form 1 really, really excels at. This is our prototyping shop. We have a, a laser cutter, we have a mill, we have all the good toys that you need to make pretty much anything you want. Um, so this is where a lot of our R&D takes place trying out new things, things that can improve the Form 1. So what are these guys doing? Most of our mechanical engineering team is down here, is working on supplies, logistics, experimenting with new products, all kinds of exciting things. Is this the next generation? Do we have, a, do we have an exclusive? <laughs> <laughs> we have Charlie, our, uh, our mascot here. The set of PCBs. The Charlie, I think the Charlie's important yeah, here. Yeah, Charlie wearing a customer support headset. That's right. <laughs> this is uh, Form Labs. We got to see how some of these great 3D printers are made. I'm John Biggs, and this has been TechCrunch Makers. Thanks for watching. <laughs>